And so she sidled up to him and spoke in a breathy alto. This is not what the winters in Brooklyn are normally like. That's perfect. Stunned, holding the drooping lilacs in one hand. Oh, please put his. And holding his wounded pride in the other, the empty hand. Yes, his wounded in his empty hand. All Theodore could manage to say was. Oh, dear God. Oh, that's good. I'll add that. Good. So, all Theodore could manage to say was, Dear God, Francesca, you probably think I'm normally Mike. Stop there. It's brilliant. Thank you. I can't believe it. You wrote that today? When it comes, it comes. You can't control it. Well, you can't control it, can you? <laughs> it's foolish to try. So what time is she coming over? Uh, she's coming over now, any minute. I have to ask. Ask what? About the, well, I don't know, the incredible shrinking other half of you. Oh, fuck off. I lost a little weight. You must have lost like 15 pounds since Thanksgiving. Yeah, I go for a run. Most days after class. To unwind. That's not good for you. Go to a bar. You've never been to New Haven. Running is so much better than the bars are. I plead ignorance on that point, but I will say this. When a person is too thin, it reflects poorly on the people who love them. So, who does it reflect poorly on when a person is fat? Their mother. Always blame the mother. <laughs>